Okay. Now, I am going to use some watercolor pencils to create some details in my drawing. And I am going to start by using one gray color. Let me tell you why. Because this looks fine so far, but it still doesn't have much dimension to it. And why do I want to use these colors? To add shades in it. Shades which will allow me to add dimension to it. So, if this yellow flower is on top of the others, there should be a shade beneath this. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to start really not exactly outlining the petals, but just painting a little bit. If you start, if you can see it, or if you can uh, 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 watch the video again, you will see the difference. I am not going with this color throughout the whole, the whole uh, outside of the flower. I'm just trying to create some shades. That's all I'm trying to do. And actually, I am painting over the leaves, as you can see. I'm painting over the leaves, and please. Pay special attention to these flowers not being fully, fully contoured with the gray color. But actually, by just doing that, you can see how I am adding shade to it. And I am painting, if you see, I am coloring over the yellow, the, the, the roses. And it immediately brings the yellow flower to the top. Same thing I can do actually with these roses. I can add some shade over there and it immediately brings the, the, these rows to the top and recedes the, the, the other rows to the bottom. Did you see that? So same thing you can do with these rows, these roses in, on the edges. Let me add some color. Please remember, I am not adding this gray color to everything. Okay, just on some of the sections around the flowers, just to give it more dimension. That is just what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. This very same thing, you are going to do it with some of these yellow colors, excuse me, green colors. Like if you want to add more details to the leaves, you can do that. Or sometimes you can even very um, loosely draw uh, like I'm doing right now something like that let me do it over here as well I'm not exactly a drawing a rose I am just adding some color just some color let me pick another green color you know I love greens and let me add some greenish over there Let me add some green here. Let me add some green in here. And I could actually use some water with my with my brush, bring some water, and I could actually spread some uh, some of this shade if I want to. But if I don't want to do that, I can, I can leave it just like it is. And if for some reason you're not liking what you're doing, as in my example, I think, I believe I added, a, this, is, this is not exactly liking me a lot, but this is fine. Let me show you what, how I will correct that. I am going to clean my brush first. Come back to the watch color that I have. I am going to create more of that purple color. You call it mauve. And when it's when it dries, I can add more color there. Do you see? I can just add more color on top. And that's all I will need to do. Let me let me mix. A little bit more of this color and let me add color there I am not fully covering it I am just covering what I did not like do you see okay and my roses are back in shape 
So sometimes if you uh, probably by mistake uh, added water or mix another color in, it's not your preference, you can do this. So this, uh, I am gonna remove the excess paint from my brush and let me bring again one of my uh, colors. Let me actually bring one reddish and purple color. I got purple and red. Let me add some of these petals details, not all of them. I'm just going to add some of these petal de petals details. You see? Just by adding some lines. And that's fine. I'm gonna add some purplish there. And if I want to still give it more um, character to my flowers, I like using that word, I pick some of the yellow and I add just a dab of yellow on top. The way I was finishing this painting uh, when I was creating it, honestly, it was by actually grabbing some of the white color and just adding some of those whites in other, in other spots of my painting as I am doing it right now and even you can use some greens let me, let me pick one green color and let me do it more pastel mm -hmm. let me grab a little bit mm -hmm. Let me see if this will work. Maybe some little dots somewhere. So the thing with a watch is that you have to be a lot more uh, loosely, I will say, when applying the colors and you have to apply various layers. I tried doing it very quick while you and I are painting it to try to see how I created this video. Uh, but you can take more time, definitely. You can take more time and then using either the pastels or the pencils, you can add shades. I believe adding shades is what's most important to give it dimension. As you can see, you see the, the yellow flower coming to the top and the other ones are below, but just by adding the shades on some of the edges, not all over the flowers, that's very, very important to remember. These shades should only be added to some section of the flowers. If you were going to add shades all over the whole contour of the flowers, it will not look very realistic, okay? But you can see this looks more realistic because I added those colors in just some sections, okay? Well, this was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helps you to keep going with this one project that we have. I love you. Take care. Bye.